Okay, so structural work. So for this webinar series, no, so uh, we're gonna show the integrated applications of Stad Pro, the RCDC, uh, RAM connection, still auto drafter, and RCDC FE. So at least five softwares we're gonna integrate, no? So directly, uh, integ direct integration. <clears throat> okay, so this will be our uh, sample structure no, for the integration. So I'll, I'll, I will gonna use this model for full integration. So it's a 30 by 15 meter by three levels steel and concrete structure. So, and the problem statement here is how many hours you need to substantially deliver the analysis and design documents of uh, this structure. No? So <clears throat> how many hours you need to spend on structural modeling uh, and analysis? No? How many hours need for uh, analysis and design reports preparation, design drawings, uh, estimates, no? bill of materials, uh, bill of quantities, uh, pro uh, and project schedule. No? So based on our experience, no? so it is uh, reasonably to spend uh, 136 hours of design time no? for this structure, but only using uh, structural analysis software, let's say STAD Pro only, no? STAD Pro, Excel, and AutoCAD. No? So, uh, but, uh, but actually this will be composed of a team of uh, engineers and drafters. No? So, so I would like to uh, uh, no, uh, to show here that even a single engineer can do all the work, no? like a one-man design team. No, so using using of course uh, integrated software. So you're gonna see later. No, so Okay. Okay. So uh, this is how I break the 136. 136 hours, okay? So the 24 hours uh, will be for modeling and analysis, okay? And then, so another 32 hours for design, uh, review, and detailing, okay? And then uh, 40 hours uh, for the drawing preparation from scratch, no? Okay, so it's gonna be from scratch. Uh, then uh, reports uh, and calculation uh, will spend uh, around 24 hours. And for the estimates and BOQ, so it will be uh, 136 hours. So uh, below, uh, so we are recommending uh, the alternative and improved process, no? so which uh, shown below, no? uh, using integrated softwares where uh, you can have uh, the benefits like saving time on structural uh, analytical modeling and reducing error. So as you can see here, so uh, sa taas, uh, so you're only using STAD Pro, STAD Pro here, no? Uh, then Excel and then here uh, AutoCAD and Excel, no? So with the, with the below uh, recommended process, so still, so we're gonna use STAD Pro, so which, uh, for the modeling and analysis. So we'll, we'll have the same uh, 24 hours. So, but here, uh, pag, uh, pag the things are design review and detailing, uh, it will reduce to, to eight hours only. No? So since uh, we're gonna employ here three additional software. So we're gonna remove Excel here, no? yung inyong mga templates sa Excel. So which is, you don't need to build your, uh, design uh, templates anymore, no? So it's already built in with the RCDC, with the RAM connection and the RCDC FE, no? So this is all, are all full graphical, no? Pag Excel kasi more on, more on uh, numbers type, eh, no? Numbers type and words, no? So, so here it's full graphical, no? And then for the drawings, so we can reduce uh, to only eight hours since all the drawings, uh, will be just extracted from the software itself, no? So CRCDC and CRCDC FE uh, can produce high quality drawings, no? So, which is, we, uh, you can just simply export it to the Excel, no? And then, uh, and, and put it on a proper title block and then that's it. So you already have uh, the final plan. And then for the reports and calculation, so you don't need uh, to build your, uh, calculation sheets anymore. So since uh, 
uh, the program can generate a calculation report. Okay, and then for estimates in BOQ, it's the same. So we can reduce up to four hours. Uh, <clears throat> four hours. So since uh, those reports, uh, I pay mo nang extract no, directly from the program. So as uh, so uh, taking the difference between uh, two process, so you can save up to sixty percent. No? So sixty percent of uh, of your design time. So you just imagine. Uh, especially pag very tight yung schedule mo, yung uh, design project uh, schedule mo, no? so so uh, the integrated process will will uh, help you, no? so can help you definitely para mas mas submit mo ng mabilis yung uh, yung mga deliverables. Okay, so paano, no? Okay, so uh, so we're gonna use, no? Uh, all these softwares, okay. Uh, so Stad Pro, <clears throat> uh, Stad Pro. So we're gonna do the the 3D modeling, 3D structural analysis, uh, steel elements design, no. And then uh, RAM connection will do the steel connection design. Then uh, RCDC will gonna do the uh, beams uh, and column design, no? including the slab as well. And then RCDC FE, the new program, no? so will handle the foundation design, no? isolated putting, combined putting. So even uh, mat foundation, or even if you have the pile draft, no? or piled mat foundation, so uh, no? okay, RCDC FE. And then. Uh, RCDC and auto drafter uh, will take care of the uh, drawing production, the estimates, as well as the bar bending schedule. And then, so if you do have the uh, no, the uh, project schedule you know, uh, written in uh, Primavera Physics or MS project, so you can just simply uh, using the st structural synchronizer of Bentley and with the other software called. Uh, called the pro structures so you put the schedule and in this in this direct start model to pro structures uh, you can build your uh, scheduled simulation or the 4d model so the last part of the presentation i'm gonna show you how okay so these are the softwares we're gonna use no on the on the integration so one two three four four five no so five softwares so Stad Pro is a general purpose analysis, a general purpose structural analysis software for buildings, bridges, uh, containment structures, embedded structures like tunnels and culverts, pipe racks, steel, steel, concrete, aluminum and timber buildings, transmission towers, even elevated water tanks, stadiums, or any other uh, sim uh, simple or complex structures. So, uh, so definitely you can use Stad Pro to most of, of any structure, no? so even up, even if you want to do a finite element model and analysis. So as you can see here, no, uh, as, uh, up to this level of analysis, so, so Stad Pro is able to perform. And then, so RCDC FE is a software for design, detailing, drawing, and documentation of planar RCC elements like uh, flat slab, uh, rough or mat foundation, combined puttings, even isolated puttings, no, which are analyzed uh, using finite element method in safe or, or stud analysis engine. No? So, so the RCDC FE is not only limited in importing uh, stud model, but also from CSI safe model as well. And then, so RCDC, so uh, it is the extension program of Stad Pro to design and detail concrete elements. So user can design slabs, beams, columns, walls, stairs, and puttings with the aid of this program. Now, so as you can see on on the image, you know, so hindi po ito AutoCAD drawing. No, so the images you are seeing on the screen are direct drawings. Uh, generated by the RCDC, so the di direct drawing, high quality drawings produced directly by the program. So what you need to do is just to export it to to AutoCAD, 
and put on, on proper title block, and then that's it. So you will have now your drawing. And then so RAM connection, so it's a tool for steel connection design. It has powerful connection uh, check and design option with optimization. It can be used as a standalone or fully integrated with STAD Pro. So as you can see, uh, RAM connection is the software uh, mostly support uh, 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 connection, uh, like most of connection database available in American uh, design code, uh, British, British standard, uh, Canadian standard, uh, Euro code, British, uh, okay, as I've said, British standard, Australian standard, as well as New Zealand standard. Okay, so these are the available design codes with the, within the program. So uh, available even uh, the older uh, design codes of AISC. And then uh, still auto drafter uh, is a tool that extract drawings and material take up you know, from a structural steel model preparing stad bro. So it produces plans at any level and sections in any orthogonal direction. So as you can see, uh, this is the steel uh, auto drafter model. Uh, so directly from stad bro yan. So pupunta ka lang kay uh, auto drafter mode. Then you can uh, directly extract these high quality drawings already. No? So framing plan as well as elevation drawing. Okay, so now, so let us see the live demo. No, so we're gonna see how the software integrates together. Okay. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so let me just open my Stad Pro model here. Okay. So uh, this is the sample Stad Pro model. So we so we will not model this from scratch anymore. No? So since uh, so here in the Philippines, so Stadpro is the number one structural analysis software. So any most of civil engineers now and other professional knows how to model on Stadpro. No, so because of uh, lots of available available uh, tutorials in YouTube. In fact, you can also visit my YouTube channel. No, so uh, uh, to get some pre trainings there, tutorials. No, so but we also offer some. Uh, like uh, paid trainings no, with X structures. So you can also enroll uh, to learn deeply the program. So now, uh, let me just go here on geometry. Okay. So uh, this is a combined concrete and steel uh, structure. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna, we're not gonna do the uh paano ito na model, ano? And then, uh, so let me discuss the loading here. Uh, so I use predefined wind load, wind load, uh, wind pressure here. Then I use uh, reference load, reference load, no. So to make this as a mass load as well as the uh, dead load case. And then so meron tayong seismic parameters dito. Then so standard uh, primary load cases or so earthquake loading, okay. So dead load, live load, as well as uh, the automated wind load, okay? And then uh, the standard load combinations, okay? For the design of elements, okay? Like beams and columns, steel, steel beams, steel columns, concrete beams and concrete columns, load combinations for uh, serviceability like drift and uh, load combination for foundation design as well. So because we're gonna design foundation uh, later no, on this webinar. Okay, so what, uh, so we're gonna use STAD Pro uh, from the 100, uh, I mean, from the 52 hours. So we are proposing to, to finish this, uh, this design project, no? So we're gonna use STAD Pro uh, for modeling, loading, as well as uh, steel design. Oh, of course, the drip check will be done with Stad Pro as well, no? So uh, for steel design, so bale, uh, we're gonna go here on post-processing, no? So I'll just go directly on the output. And then uh, let me just turn off the utilization ratio. So I specifically uh, design some of the steel elements only. No, so I, I did not design all. And as you can see, these numbers represents uh, utilization ratio. No? So as long as the utilization ratio 
is less than 1.0. So this means that uh, the, the steel section is adequate. Okay. And then if you want a, uh, uh, you can review uh, the steel design here, uh, uh, the, the summary of the, uh, of the output of the steel design. If you double click this member or any member, double click. And then, so you go here on steel design and so you're gonna see here uh, the ratio, okay? So it's a pass, no? So even the slenderness ratio is reported here and the critical load combination as well as the critical load. No? So, so in summary, you can view the steel design uh, output here, but if you want a more detailed output of the, uh, the steel design, you can go here on utilities and then so you review it from the analysis output. Okay, then uh, let's go here on contents and let's say if I want to, to view you know, the member 4006, so you're gonna get this very detailed uh, steel design output. Okay, so okay, which is this one? No? And of course, uh, part of, of the uh, stud role no, on the integration is to do the drip check. So if I double click this, okay. If I double click this, uh, so the program will say if it is pass or failing. No? So uh, the input here is just the allowable drip. Okay. And then uh, let's start pro uh, check no? if, if the structure is, is <clears throat> a, a structure drip will be more than the allowable. No? Of course, if it is less than the allowable, so the program will put here pass and if it is excessive, so the program will put uh, uh, pale here, no? And it's up to the designer now to, to, uh, <clears throat> to, to like to change some of the member sizes, no? In order to pass the, the requirement. Okay, so that will be the start role, modeling, still design and drip check, no? okay? And then with that, so we're gonna go with the steel connection design, no? So steel connection. So we're already done with the uh, no, with the steel elements design, no? So now for the connection design, so we're gonna go with the RAM connection. So there is a direct link of RAM connection with Stad Pro. So uh, the user just need to go here on connection design link. Okay, just click close. Okay, and then. Uh, you can design uh, any types of connection here, no? So uh, beam to beam connection, beam to column connection, bracing connection, base plates, no? or even uh, this this uh, X bracing, no? With eight members, it can be designed as well in RAM connection. Now I'm gonna only show uh, one sample connection design here, no? So which is beam to gear their connection. So as you can see, okay, this one. So beam to gear there, no? so beam to gear there, okay. Then, uh, so this is the situation of the joint and I'll, get the, I'll gonna design the connection there. So first is you need to choose which load combination no? you will use on your connection design, either uh, ASD load combo or LRFD load combination. And then, uh, so you choose your design code Okay, either ASD or LRFD. So I'll be using the latest LRFD. I just click OK. Then uh, I will now choose appropriate uh, uh, shear connection here. No? So since there is a member release at the end of the member, so our intention is to have a shear connection here. Uh, so uh, there, there, are, there are so many types of shear connection you can use uh, uh, on joining beam uh, and gear there, no? So there is a uh, double angle bolted connection. You can, uh, you can also a shear end plate. Uh, you can also use the most common one, uh, which is the single plate or the fin plate. No? So which uh, I'm gonna use on, on this joint. So uh, I'm gonna go here on smart connection. So I'll click this smart connection. And then uh, I'm gonna use a single plate here single plate BG, okay, single plate BG. And so you're gonna see the thumbnail of the connection here, okay. So single plate, I'll bring this to the right side and then I'll just click okay. 
and then the program says it's okay. No? So it's, it's okay, no problem with the connection, but as an engineer, so you need to check the output of the program. No? So hindi lang natin basta siya i-accept. No? So we, we're gonna review. No? And that, uh, and, and that uh, gray triangle, no? uh, gray triangle symbol, so that represent uh, uh, joint connection. No? So if we double click that, Okay, so so you're gonna see this connection design. So we know uh, that there is a plate there. No? Uh, there is a weld, uh, but we don't know what will be the thickness of the weld. So what is the thickness of the plate as well as the diameter of the bolts? No? So to, to know these details, uh, we can simply go here on the accept view. Okay, and then uh, so this is already the detail no, of the connection. Okay, so. Okay, but uh, some of the distances here, uh, dimension here, no, are in uh, in decimal, which we can simply edit. So let's say this 38, uh, 38.1, so I can change this to 40 mm. Okay, so 40. And then this one, uh, let's say 30 mm. Uh, then the coupe length, I can make this, let's say 95 mm. And the uh, uh, bolt spacing or bolt gauge, uh, I'm gonna use 75 mm. Okay, so I think it, uh, all dimensions now are okay. Okay, so let me just save this. And as you can see, uh, there is a uh, uh, the connection design is interactive. No? So since the UC ratio uh, change accordingly whenever you change something on the connection configuration. So if I make this four bolts, let's say here, I make it four bolts. So uh, the, UC, the UC ratio changed into uh, 0.11, no? so, but anyway, I'll, I'll just bring this back to uh, three bolts only. No? So that's already okay. And then, uh, so this detail will not be wasted no? since uh, you can export this to the accept and use it as a stand, uh, as like uh, initial drawings. Now let your drafter or if you can, uh, you can simply furnish the uh, the dimension style here, no? So, but you already saved the uh, the <clears throat> the manual drawings, no? Which uh, we normally do. No? So you already have at least uh, a, a digital form of the uh, connection detail. So like this, no? Now uh, the next thing is how how you are gonna justify this connection design, no? So the program already give uh, the the thickness of the plate, which is six mm, three bolts, uh, uh, three port, uh, which is three port diameter, no, and even the spacing of the bolts, uh, the weld thickness, which is three sixteen. So how you uh, gonna justify this uh, detail, no? So this program produce calculation, of course. So you just uh, you just need to go here on results. Okay. So this is the result. And then, so as you can see, uh, so it checks, no, uh, it, it used no, all the load combination, uh, which we picked around 120, uh, around, 20, around 27 load combo. No? So even if it is 100 or 1000 load combination, it will be checked one by one no, by the program. And this is the summary. No, summary of the uh, calculation, okay, which is this one. And uh, this might be a one page of calculation report only, no? So, and if I'm going to review this uh, connection re design report, no? So I will not gonna accept this, no? So, uh, so I prepare a much more detailed calculation, but no problem with that since the program can produce a, a much detailed calculation report. So you just need to uh, pick this or press this alpha tool here. Okay, that single page. Okay, so that single page uh, report so it might become around uh, maybe six to 10 pages of uh, very much detailed uh, calculation report no, for the connection design, okay? So what you need to do next is you either export this to uh, Word no, 
or you print directly uh, through PDF and include it on your like a standard template uh, calculation report. Okay, so I'm gonna close this. Uh, I'm gonna save, you no, know, and then so let me just show you some other connection type here. So uh, you can also design a base plate here. You know? So this is a base plate connection. Okay, so the base plate design not only uh, limited to to check the thickness of the base plate, no, but also the much more critical uh, the anchor, no. So the anchor is being checked as well as per the appendix D of, of ACI, and uh, uh, yeah, so it checks. And if, however, the uh, the anchor the anchor uh, the design is critical. So there is option also here uh, if you want to include the uh, the reinforcing of the pedestal as as uh, additional uh, as additional uh, reinforcement to your anchor. Okay, and then also uh, you can design a moment end plate here. So as you can see, so very popular in Middle East countries on using this moment end plate. Uh, also. Uh, honch connection, no? so you can also use, or you can you can also design honch connection, very popular as well in the Middle East, no? especially uh, in warehouses or rigid frames. Uh, also uh, bracing connection, okay, che Chevron brace connection. And uh, this one, Single plate we already show uh, we already shown you know? then uh, even direct weld as well no? so beam to column direct weld connection okay so we're done we're already with, with the steel connection design no? so the next the next step here is uh, how you're gonna produce the drawings no so it's okay so you already finished the analysis and design but uh, but where is the drawing no so which uh, we are getting paid no. Okay, so because <laughs> don't I be na bayaran sa ano sa uh, submitted drawings, no? So so how you gonna produce the drawings? Okay, so so we're gonna go here uh, in Steel Auto Drafter. No? Okay, so just uh, click the link here, Steel Auto Drafter. Okay, so then so now here is the model. Okay, this is the Steel Auto Drafter model, where so if I select this member, no, just, just by selecting this member, so you can produce either a framing plan or elevation drawing. No? So if I select this member, I do right click, and then let's say I want to produce a framing plan. No? Okay. So I just click that and I will click this draw tool. And then, so this is already the output. So as you can see, uh, very high quality drawings no produced by the program okay so you already saved time no on producing these drawings so you uh, the the drawing already uh, has grid lines no so even uh, exactly this web thickness this plunge thickness no exactly drawn as per uh, exactly draw exactly drawn as per the uh, stud section okay so you already saved time on on uh, preparing the drawing as as well as for the uh, checking the members uh, if it is uh, like uh, place right no okay so because sometimes if we're giving this task to the drafter no so uh, so you, you you give you give the, the the scratch drawing to the drafter and then let drafter do the drawings and then you will gonna check after after he drawn the uh, the plan no so uh dun pala maka save ka na ng time because you don't need to do that anymore so you just extract this drawing directly from the program okay so then i will also produce elevation drawing no so from this member right click and then so i will draw section and then click that and so this is the elevation drawing okay so meron ng elevation marks no? Uh, concrete and steel sections no? so uh, drone no? automatically with, uh, with with the high quality output of course okay so 
so you can produce at any at at any uh, uh, plane here ano so kung kung saan mo gusto mag mag ano mag place ng drawing so walang problema even on the other direction let's say here so I'll gonna select this member I do right click then let's say I want to produce elevation drawing here oh, and then I just click this one and then that's it so that's already the drawing so so if you just imagine ang laki ng masasave mong time no so with the auto drafter no uh, yun. so that's why so we can prove that uh, we can save uh, as much as 60% of your design time no? so using the integrated softwares okay so now we're already okay with the stad pro we're already okay with the uh, ram connection and then auto drafter now so we're gonna go with the concrete design no? so which is we're gonna design uh, beam uh, beams and column no? or concrete beams and concrete column where we'll we'll uh, need to use uh, the rcdc no? so rcdc so there's a direct link here uh, of, uh, of rcdc no so i can click ko lang ito okay Okay, then, uh, okay, so uh, unang -una kong gagawin dito is just to pick NACP 2015. Oh, this, this program already supports uh, NACP 2015 recently, no? and we from extractures uh, uh, like prepared all the necessary calculations and technical notes no? uh, for the NACP design code. And we gave it to Bentley developer uh, para mapunta yung NSCP design code within the program. Okay. So now I'm going to just call this uh, beam design. Ano? Okay. So beam design. And then, so let's say client. So I'm going to use, let's say, X structures here. No? And then, so you can put your initial here. Okay, so beam design, X structures, so your your name, no, and which design code, so you're gonna use, and then so we're gonna design the level four meters, no, so we'll design the level four meters, and then so we'll click create new project, that's it. Okay, so that's it, no? Then, so so uh, the program will automatically uh, produce this uh, framing plan, no? So again, you already save uh, on drawing preparation kasi may framing plan na, eh, no? So as you can see, no? So export mo lang ito kay, ano, kay uh, AutoCAD, no? So now, so I'm gonna set the uh, primary load cases here. So I'm gonna set this to earthquake. No, and this one dead load, uh, live load. Oops, uh, this one is roof live. No, and then uh, wind X, and this one is wind on the Z direction. So I'm gonna bring this to the right side, and just click OK. Then so we're gonna get the load combination from Stat Pro. So I'll just click Add from Analysis here. Okay, so I'll just click no here, no, and then, so uh, so I'm gonna pick a uh, load combo on 100 series only. Okay, and I'm gonna remove uh, some other load combo. Okay, which is, which will not be used on the design. I'll just click okay. Then. I'm gonna go here on settings and uh, I'll go here on general and reinforcement. Okay, so uh, we're gonna use a special moment frame uh, as our uh, standard frame here in the Philippines. Then, so uh, I'm gonna use a 5,000 psi concrete here, or C35, and grade 60 steel. And then uh, we're gonna use minimum 16 rebar diameter. So maximum 25, or maybe we can use 32, okay? We can use 32. Uh, let me uncheck this. 
then uh, so I'll just control the maximum spacing of the uh, of the stirrups into maximum 200 mm you know? and then 200 mm spacing I'll just click OK then uh, that's it. So we're now ready to run the design. Okay, I'll just click auto design here. Okay. And then that's it, no? So, uh, okay, so uh, all the bins, no, uh, are already designed. Uh, but we can also group them by going here, modify, and then auto group beams. So then uh, automatically uh, all similar beam design will be grouped by the program you know, and will be put on the schedule as a one, uh, like a one piece of uh, like beam detail. You know. So now we already group the beams. So uh, ang next lang na gagawin natin dito is to produce the schedule. No, so I think I need to open my AutoCAD here. No, uh, let me just open the framing plan. Okay. Uh, for me to show you kung ano yung gagawin yung next after the RCDC. Okay. Okay, that's it. So uh, I have a, a framing plan here already. No, it's a title block. Then, so uh, I'm gonna produce here the, uh, I'm gonna produce here the text schedule. Okay, so automatic group beams, click okay. And then that's it, no? So you already have the framing plan. And then, so you already have the beam schedule. So I'm gonna export the framing plan. Uh, let's say it's a desktop, uh, no? let's say uh, plan. No? And then for the uh, for this one, I'm gonna click save and then I'm gonna call this a sked. No? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna open uh, those DXF drawings. No? It's this one, plan and schedule. Okay, and then, so I'm gonna copy this and then put it on a title block like this, no? Okay, yeah. Then, as well as the schedule, and here, so that's it, Anna. so uh, the Kasha. Okay, we can scale naman eh. So we can move this little bit, no? Uh, like that. And then, so we paste the schedule here. Ayan, kasha na siya, no? Ayan. So like this, ano? So you already have your framing plan and you have the schedule, no? So very easy. So makakaproduce ka, no? Directly from the software. And then, uh, so how you justify this design, you know? so how you can justify this, uh, this beam design. So you can just simply go here on reports and then uh, go here on uh, design calculation. Let's say this one. And uh, let's say, so uh, there are so many beams here, you know? okay? So kasi kung ano yung lahat ng beam dun sa framing, sa framing plan and or level na yun, will be designed by the program. So let me just choose uh, this uh, B30, no, just to show you the calculation. Okay, so beam design calculation. Okay, and also it will be shown here uh, what design code you use on the uh, design. No? So it's, it's it, so we use NSCP 2015. So it's reported here all the chapter four, no, uh, on, uh, clauses from the NSCP. Are, are, are being referenced here no? and some other additional no, clauses from the ACI. And so these are the uh, design output. Okay. 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 So now, uh, 
And also this program can produce uh, elevation drawing as well. No? So if you want to produce uh, the elevation drawing of this beam, so just go here on reports and then you click elevation and section. So let's say uh, this is G3, no? so, but we can produce you know, all of the beam drawings. So let me just check all of this. I click OK. And then, so this is already the elevation drawing that you can also export you know, to AutoCAD. And I think we can have a better drawing somewhere here. No? So here, so since uh, there are secondary beams here connected to this gear there, so section one, two, three, four, five. No? Then uh, let us review that drawings here. So as you can see, so we need uh, two layers of reinforcing here, so here and here. No? So as you can see, uh, uh, as you notice, uh, this is a, a good quality drawings already, no? so, but automated by the program. Okay, so I think no more editing na kailangan mo pang gawin dito eh. No? So it's already a good drawing. So then you just export this, no? then you already have the drawing. But uh, my intention here is not only to produce the elevation drawing, but to produce the bar bending schedule. No? Bar bending schedule, no? so mas mapapadali yung iyong trabaho. No? So you just go here on BBS, then uh, you click generate BBS here. Okay, and then with the same beam, uh, beam groups, no? group three. No? So, but you can produce all of this, no? so, but I'll be showing that uh, beam groups only. I will click generate. And then that's it. No? So this is uh, the, the elevation drawing you know, with the rebar tack marks here. So what you need to do is just to, 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 to check you know, the, the detail of, of any of the rebar here from this table. You know? So, ayun, so uh, the anchor lengths you know, uh, shown here, uh, as well as the crank, you know, uh, crank length. Uh, and even the uh, the detail of the uh, stirrups as well, no. So drawn here. Yeah. So this is already a, a bar bending schedule, okay. And also, what uh, I like on, uh, with this program is yung BOQ, no, and estimate. So you go here on reports, and then so you go on below quantities, okay. Then, so let me just click this one, BOQ, and nakaset na ito sa peso, no? So even the peso, uh, the peso uh, currency here is already added, no? So let's say, uh, let's say concrete is 5,000 pesos, and then the, let's say the steel is 50 pesos, no? Uh, per kilogram, so I, I will just click OK. Then, so that's it, no? So for, for, the, for that, uh, uh, whole level, no? so we'll be needing 41.53 cubic meter of concrete. And then, so uh, we need around 5,800 kilograms no? of, of uh, steel. And what I like here on this BOQ is this design metrics. No? So very important, especially dun sa, ano, sa uh, let's say, design manager lang na alam na yung, yung ratio bit ng reinforcement no? uh, compared to the concrete volume. So the program gives the weight of the steel compared to the uh, volume of concrete. You know? And please take note that this uh, rebar to concrete ratio, you know? so included dito yung mga, yung mga anchor lengths, splice length, you know? uh, anchor length and splice length. Okay, so it's much more uh, precise no, than doing it manually. So mahirap gawin ito, i-estimate mo pa lahat ng rebar. No? So where the program can just simply give you this uh, ratio no? at instant, no? so pag na-design mo na. So hindi ka na mag estimate ng rebar. So you already have this uh, uh, output. Okay? So, uh, okay, so that's that's it for the beam design. No? So, uh, gonna be using RCDC. So the next one is I'll gonna be use uh, I'll, I uh, will gonna be doing yung ano yung column design na no. So let me just double check the final plan. Okay, so ito yung yung ating final plan no. And then for the report calculation, so you just get it from the reports no. So it's either uh, 
you print it, no, they export it on Word or directly print it uh, uh, through PDF. Okay, so now let me just close some of the uh, in, important drawings here. No, so hindi natin kailangan nito. Okay, yeah. so so after this, uh, after this, uh, let I, I'm gonna close this. And then, so, lilipat na ako kay column design. No? Uh, so, to column, to, to column design, so, we'll just go here again on RCDC. No? Okay. Then, again, no? So, NSCP 2015. So, I'm gonna call this uh, column design. Okay. So, client. Set structures. So engineer, no. Uh, I just put my initial. <coughs> okay. Column and wall. Uh, okay. Design code. Okay. Now I'll just click create new project here. Now, okay. So. Uh, Lagi naman ito kay RCDC, no? So, so save muna natin first. And then we set this uh, uh, basic load cases, no? So E, EZ, dead load, and then uh, live load ito, no? And this one is root live load. Ito ay wind X, wind Z, uh, wind Z. Okay. Okay. Now just click OK. And then, again, so we're going to bring the load combination here from Stad Pro. So click Add from Analysis. Uh, just click No. Okay. So we might accidentally remove some of the load combos. Kaya uh, pinres ko yung No. Now we're going to include the 100 series load combo. Select. So also this one up to 127. And removing uh, other load combo and select. Okay. So up to 127 series. I will click OK. Then uh, we're going to set the design settings here. Okay. So it will be a special moment frame. And then we're going to use a single rebar here. And I will just click OK. Then I'll go here on settings and then reinforcement settings. So uh, we're going to use minimum 16 rebar diameter, maximum, let us see, maybe 32 is possible, no? So, but anyway, the program will automatically select from 16 diameter up to 32 diameter. Then, so I will control the, uh, the spacing of the stirrups, maximum 150. Okay. Uh, I think uh, I, I think one hundred would be okay here. Okay. So now, so we'll I'll just I'll just click okay here, and then uh, I'll just go here on label data, no? and so we're gonna use here C thirty five concrete, grade sixty steel. So we're gonna use forty mm cover here. So. Uh, I just copy you know, all this detail, paste, also paste here as well. Okay. So now all okay. And we're now ready to design all the columns. Okay. So I just go here on design and then click auto design. And then that's it. No? So the program already designed all the columns. So what we're gonna do next, since uh, we have so many column design here, so the program can automatically group them, no? So, uh, kung ikaw ang gagawa nito, pag-group nito, especially if you have like multiple levels of column, so nakakahilo yan, ano? Uh, uh, very time consuming, confu tsaka confusing, no? So, but since this is a computer program, no? Uh, 
kaya niyang i-determine yung uh, mga columns na may magkakaparehong detail no so which we're gonna do uh, uh, we're gonna use that software uh, capability no so just go here and modify and click auto group columns no as you can see so we we have 24 different column designs so if we go here and modify and then click auto group columns okay and i just click okay so, pwede pala natin siyang i-group into three lang, ano? three column detail. No? So, which uh, the program uh, already did. Ano? So, and also, what I like here, the programs uh, also put the uh, rebar ratio here, no? okay, which is 1.4%, 1.74, and 1.11. Now, the next thing na gagawin natin dito is to produce the uh, detailed drawing or the column schedule no so i just click detailed drawing and then i'll gonna check all of this column just click okay and then so this will be the column design no so uh so most of the square columns no so are having uh, similar detail, no? So, kaya nag-group siya into one lang, no? So, 600 by 600, and you need around 16 pieces of diameter 20, no? And these are the, the ties reinforcing. And then, so, ito naman yung for the circular column design, no? So, so we can use diameter 20 here, and then, so, uh, some other circular columns, so we need diameter 25. So same way with the ano uh, with the uh, with the with the beam design capabilities no yung calculation report yung estimate no yung uh, bar bending schedule so you can also produce no uh, uh, you can also produce no in in column element no so siguro I'll gonna produce even the design report as well no so pero uh, mag focus na lang ako dito so my bill of quantities no so uh, because one more important uh, for me here is the ano eh, is the uh, the rebar to concrete ratio no uh, lagyan ko lang ito 5000 pesos let's say this one is 50 pesos no then i just click okay so so we need around uh, 34 or almost 35 cubic meter of concrete and we need around 9.49 tons of steel and for the column design no so it, it shows here uh, around 274 kilogram no, per cubic meter for the column design no? yeah and then as i've said uh, you can produce no so you you can simply export this export this to autocad as well as the uh, this schedule, no, and then you can also produce a similar uh, framing plan or column layout, naman, no, pag sa column, so like this, no, so uh, so you need additional uh, title block, no, tapos you put the column layout as well as the column schedule, no? so very quick, no, uh, you can finish uh, the project, no? okay. So and, uh, the program can design as well as lab. No? So, but I'm not gonna be showing that na, no, on this presentation. So uh, what I'm gonna do next is to show the uh, foundation design. Okay. So I'm gonna close this. Okay. So uh, now uh, engineer can 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 use any of the integrated software with Stad Pro. Pwede mong gamitin si RCDC no for the putting design. Okay? Uh, kaya lang mag overlap kasi yung mga putting dito sa gitna, no? So on that case, so you'll be needing a matte foundation. So RCDC uh, is not able to design matte foundation design. So since limited si RCDC for isolated putting and pile cap putting, no? So for combined putting, uh, for for isolated uh, combined putting as well, matte foundation. So uh, you can use a stud foundation, no? So but uh, on on this webinar, I will not use a stud foundation. So I'm gonna be using other software, which is the RCDC FE. No, it's a new software from Bentley. So, uh, I said uh, there 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 uh, like. 
some other way ways to to design yung footing it's either you use a rigid method or you can use yung elastic method no so pag uh, if you're using uh, rcdc fe so ang our ang ating intention with the foundation design is using the elastic method no so on this case i prepare a separate model no a uh, separate model which already modeled yung foundation no so on this and also you can use this model okay as uh, to do soil structure interaction analysis as well no so bale uh, ganito na yung model okay so which will be this one is still no concrete and steel structure yan modeled lang yung yung foundation no and so there's local thickening here as well no then anong magiging support uh, support type mo ngayon if you model the ano the the plate itself no at your foundation so it will be a spring support now so pupunta tayo dito sa my supports then so uh, the supports here will be sub in a form of subgrade modulus no which is compression only spring no so it will be a plate mat option why only and you put the subgrade modulus here no so for a quick calculation so we're multiplying the soil bearing capacity no by 120 and uh, that will be our uh, subgrade modulus value right and so then i apply those support uh, this support to this uh, this plate you know Okay. So then, so after this, so you just run the analysis and for the load combination, uh sa foundation design kasi we need we need two sets of load combo, no? So service load combo for the serviceability check as well as for the actual uh uh bearing stress check, no? So we're using service load combo. And for the uh uh for the rebar design as well as for the punching check we're using uh, a factored load combo no so which is uh, already set here no so load combination 300 and load combination 400 okay so actually kay start pro pa lang no if we go here on post processing apply okay and then so i'll gonna set the uh, to 300 no so So 300 series is our uh, uh, load combination 300 series. Okay, uh, is our uh, service load combo. No, so I can use uh, all the load com combos to check the actual soil bearing stress. No, so let me turn off the anyway. Uh, let me turn this off. Then I I will just click plate stress here, and I will set this to base pressure. So click apply. Uh, let me check if this will work. Okay, that's it now. Uh, so enhance apply, and then click OK. Uh, let me turn off the displacement. Then uh, check the uh, the actual soil bearing stress here. No, so uh, yung yung ginamit kung soil bearing capacity here is 200 kilopascal. No, kaya naging at uh, 200 kasi ginamit ko dito then i just multiply it by 120 so uh, so i have the 24000 kN per cubic meter subgrade modulus so ibig sabihin nito so uh, actual soil pressure should not be more than 200 no so we're gonna check uh, let's say so sa so 300 uh, series okay so we're gonna check if uh, there are more than Okay, 200 kilopascal here, no. So, so but this is a pre-designed structure, so uh, we're not going to be more than uh, 200 uh, kilopascal na uh, actual uh, uh, bearing stress dito, no. Okay, so which is uh, okay yung ating structure. Nayon. So after this, we're now ready to design the plates, ano. Okay, so it will be the, it will be checked for punching and also. Uh, it will be designed uh, for the reinforcing no or rebar so i'll gonna close this and then i'll gonna open rcdcfe no this one is rcdcfe okay okay 
So now, so this is the interface of RCDC FE. So we're gonna use 318M 2014 here. No? So project name, uh, I'll just put here foundation design. Okay, uh, client name, okay. X structures. I just put my uh, initial here. And here, I, I will click this and I, I will import this model, yung ginamit natin kanina. No? Tapos, I will click start. Okay, uh, let me just click this one, cancel, click yes. So, nag-start na siyang mag-import ngayon ng model. No? So, we'll take time. Okay, so, uh, depende sa size ng yung model. No? So, uh, reminder, so, no? so uh, for... FBN Zoom may uh, link posted on live doon mag-register no, para maka-join sa Rappel. Okay. Yep. So thanks admin for reminding. So anyway, so let me just discuss. No? So uh, posted live doon mag-register. Okay. So yung mga hindi nakakapasok, pwedeng mag-register doon sa FB live link. Ano? So you put your name there. Uh, then we're gonna pick no uh, mga yung lucky viewers po no or, or attendees nung ating webinar so let us see if we can extend up to 70 but 50 is okay no so pag marami talagang attendees no so we're gonna extend no? additional uh, prices po no okay that's it no Uh, you don't need to make screenshot kung nag-register na no so since we we have the link na eh, no once nag-register kayo okay na yun no so we have your information tapos magra-rappel draw lang kami internally no sa of, since it will take time and then so we'll gonna post it on our ano uh, Facebook page po no and also we will send you email kasi we have your information eh. we send email and then we text you uh, that you win uh, sets of uh, merchandise po ano Okay, so this is already the exported model, no? Actually, ang ganda nung graphics niya, no? Uh, okay, so <clears throat> isolated footings as well as the matte foundation. Okay, so ang uh, gagawin ko lang dito is iseset ko yung uh, load cases, no? On this case, we need the 4,000 load combo, which is the factored load combination. Uh, since... Uh, factored na kasi ito. Iseset ko lang siya as oh, kasi combination na siya. Eh, no? So I'm gonna set this all to dead and I use repeat load anyway. No? So I just bring this to the right side. So click OK. And I, I will just generate here as regular and I'm gonna since ultimate na ito, factored na eh. So I'll just replace this into uh, 1.0. Okay, so 1. Okay. And then, so I will just click OK. So then, uh, so we need to set the reinforcement. No? Just click this one. Then, uh, I right click ko lang ito. No? Uh, so minimum steel rebar, we're going to use diameter 12, maximum 25. No? Okay. Then, uh, just click OK. Then, uh, we set the design parameters. Okay, so we're gonna use C35 concrete, so grade 60 steel. Uh, then, so one meter strip. Now I will just click OK. Is there a new registration for this Zoom attendance? Uh, actually, if you registered already, I think OK na yun, ano? So we already have your information then with that. So we're gonna we're gonna pick na lang po doon. No? Even yung certificate will be based on the registration po. Hindi na kailangan ng screenshot. Okay. So we know kasi uh, also admin ano uh, on the ad, uh, on paki screenshot po yung ano no yung uh, ating attend this list. Okay? So admin paki may admin po no so there are three admins joining here no on this session. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, paki-screenshot po yung ating attendees, no? So since you use naman all your uh, names, no? Okay. Yan. So then, so i-match lang naman namin ito eh, no? I-match namin 'yan with the registration. So tapos yung po bali will ano na, will uh we yun po, will gonna issue yung webinar ano certificate. Okay, uh, done na ba to? Okay. Mag-send ng screenshot. Ah, okay. So, si admin pala mag-send daw ng screenshot. Okay. It's okay. Uh, FB Live, baka di po napansin. Okay, so, okay, let me just clarify. Ano? So, as per the admin instru instruction, no, doon sa... Uh, uh, nanonood doon sa FB Live, no? So, mag-send ng screenshot ng uh, ng shared post okay so because they're sharing our ano po ano FB live okay anyway so we're gonna continue now no okay na yung ating ano okay na yung ating uh, uh, RCDC FE settings no then after this uh, we're now ready to design no uh, the foundation uh, okay just go here on design and then click design Okay, that's it, no? So, kanina iba yung uh, yung 3D model niya, no? So, what you can see is the 3D rebar design already, no? Color coded. No, so you can see here, uh, so when you click this rebar, so automatically nagse-select siya doon sa model. Okay? So, itong diameter 12 at 150, so standard mesh siya nung rebar design. I mean nung, nung rebar design, ano? And then, so we need some additional rebar, no? So which is this one, diameter 60 at 150 and diameter 20 at 150. So although it's it's good to see the rebar on 3D, no? So pero paano siya in 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 a 2D form, no? Sa 2D form, which is yun yung ginagamit natin for uh, as construction drawing, ano? So we can go here on report, and then so you just click this one drawings, okay? So it produced na natin uh, bottom uh, I mean bottom reinforcement also the top reinforcement uh, and the text schedule as well no so then if we click okay and then that's it no okay so this is the uh, the concrete plan no uh, of the foundation so with the localized thickening no no foundation then uh, this is the bottom reinforcement plan, no? Bottom reinforcement plan. So <clears throat> these are uh, reinforcing B, no? Reinforcing B. So generic yan si reinforcing B as diameter 16 at 150 mesh, no? So X and Y direction. And then, uh, so mostly they are mostly B, no? Same naman, no? B sa, sa ating mga putting. And then for the mat foundation, so uh, A and B here, no? so A is diameter 12 but 150, and on other direction is 16 at 150. No? And then, so si reinforcing C, ito ay mga additional ito, no? so due to high stress dun sa putting, so let's say here, no? uh, kasi nasa gitna siya. No? So, uh, so we will be needing additional rebar here, which is diameter 20 at 150. So dito combination siya. So 20 chaka diameter 16 no, with the same spacing. Okay, so this is for the bottom rebar. And then this is for the top rebar. Okay, so which is this one? Okay. Ayan. And then, so if, if you want to produce the, uh, no, the calculation of the putting design, so we can go here on report, then uh, calculation, okay? And then, so dalawa, no? Uh, for the rebar, this for the, for the uh, element design, no? So including the, uh, the rebar design and also for the punching check as well, no? So let's say, uh, let's uh, see S1, no? S1, click OK. Uh, anyway, so where is S1 here? No? So S1, if you go here on view, 
and we click slab let's say so s1 is this one i think okay this is s1 ito yung mga uh, foundation level natin ano s1 s2 so s9 and if you want to show the uh, column labels so yeah c1 c2 c3 and so on no? so but uh, we're after the ano eh, the 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 uh, the foundation level label ano and then so so this is the uh, the that ano no the rebar design for that foundation and then for the punching check uh, report and then calculation so also let's say uh, okay so so c3 ano so let me just cancel this so c s1 kasi view let's say so bali c3 siya no for the punching check uh, go here on define and then no sorry uh, report no and then uh, calculation so c3 and then so this is the punching check no for that uh, specific ano uh, slab okay okay and then uh, of course uh, the boq no quick boq Okay, so okay, the program is also producing. This is the bill of quantities, no? So per uh, per uh, slab. Then um, okay, so then after this, so we're already done with the foundation design, no? So we check the actual uh, soil bearing stress, no, on stud, but for the element design, so we use RCDC FE, no? And for the last part of this presentation, no, uh, last part is uh, will be the the 4D model, no, the, the 4D model. So if you have the uh, check this one, okay. So if you have the MS project schedule, and then uh, you 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 put. It together, no, uh, the stud model and MS project or Primavera schedule to pro structures. Okay, so which is uh, this one, no. So not as not as the exact model, no. I just use this model, and then so you can produce this uh, scheduled simulation, no. So like this one. So if and you can also play, no, uh, automatically. Let's say let me play. And you can you can also visualize here. So what will be uh, like your accomplishment, no, based on your plan, no. So let's say here uh, October 2019, no. So so at least alam mo na kung ano na dapat yung na install, no. Uh, then you can compare the 4D model to the to the actual ano, no, uh, accomplishment. Ayan. Okay. And then, uh, so this concludes no, uh, uh, the webinar. So then, so we're gonna have a question and answer. No, so we we're gonna have a Q and A now. No, so maybe we can we can allot five to ten minutes no, of the webinar for the question and answer. No? Okay. <clears throat>